Hi guys, Dusty here with LPO. <clears throat> and today we have a clip on doing a gasket match on your intake manifold. So, some necessary things we're gonna have to have is a decent die grinder, a variety of burrs, a sanding roll and mandrel kit, a scribe, and a sharpie. So, we're going to hold our gasket up and we see that we need some material removal at the top, small amount at the bottom, and a whole bunch in the sides as well. So, we're going to do is back up and we're going to take the sharpie and we're going to move over that those areas with that sharpie and also use layout fluid for this process Lay the gasket over. And we're going to hold that tight. <clears throat> now we can use our scribe. the shape of the port. Onto that mark, that marking that we did with the shark. Something like this. All right, so now we have the general outline of the, the shape of our gasket, printed on to our manifold. And we attack it with our die grinder. Also make sure in this, uh, in this area, make sure we were in uh, you know, proper eye protection.
All right, guys. So, <clears throat> total time to do this port, 30 minutes. Um, she's, for all intents and purposes, done. And uh, it's all blended out real nice. Um, the most concerning part here was the, the short radius that we did and um, the wall thickness for the manifold here. But if I hold the gasket up, as you can see, this is a whole heck of a lot closer than, uh, than this one. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you guys a quick contrast of where we're at um, versus where we started. <clears throat> so you can see these ports are all, all been worked over. I did add the use of my air file, or, uh, or uh, yeah. Um, anyway, <clears throat> band file, I should say, to go in and smooth um, the walls. And that actually, being that this is a tunnel ram, it actually worked really well because uh, the, the runners are so straight. But if it was a if it was a dual plane or, or even a short single plane, I don't think it would work that well. But so here's the side that's <clears throat> that's uh, about 90 percent there. You know, you can see all of these. We still have some scarring in there from the burr, but um, we're like I said we're we're nearly we're looking really good. So and this this matches the gasket almost identical. So we're looking at this side. Let's flip it and look at this side. So as you can see, this guy is, this side has not been touched yet. I'm gonna get ready to, I'm gonna attack that right now and, and we'll, uh, we'll get this other, this, this side looking like this side. And then I'm going to attack all of the ports at the same time with a rough sanding roll just to give it that the finish that I'm looking for. So, all right. All right, guys. So we've got a finished product. Big, big block shibby, uh, rec port, manifold all port matched up. Show you. So the basics is <clears throat> these these gaskets match the heads real nice, and so now the manifold does too. And, uh, we're in good shape. So the other side just the same. <clears throat> so it took a lot of meat out of the corners. Open this guy up. Be careful to work the bottom of the port as well so that we didn't create a belled opening. But basically what we don't want is the air to expand um, you know in, in one rapid place because then that would just cause uh, mixture issues. So uh, probably not my cherryest work um, but and we'll do plenty well for just a port match and a blend. So from here, we'll uh, we'll glass bead the manifold and get it bolted on uh, Christie's 565. So we'll uh, have a video in the near future of of, uh, of that fleet setup going into the Chevelle. All right, guys, catch you on the next one.